time. The only occasion when West Ham have been here since it reopened in the playoff victory. Here's Fernandez looking to get it in early for Carroll, but both was across to deal with it and find Rose. Davis, Urente, another neat touch into the path of Son, who is being played onside by Ogbonna, and Sissoko through! It's the worst possible start for West Ham, a goal down inside six minutes, but Musa Sissoko has his second goal of the season to celebrate. Well, the goal actually starts with a cross into the box from Fernandez. But Foyt clears, and then how quickly Tottenham sweep back at the field. And they're short in defensive numbers here. And this ball is played into Urente. This ball around the corner, fabulous. Great appreciation of Son's position. He does well to stay on side, as does Sissoko. The timing of the pass, the weight of the pass for Sissoko means he doesn't have to take a touch. He can assess where the keeper is and just took it home. Tottenham on the counter, absolutely devastating. Three passes, and the ball is in the back of the net. Well, he's had his critics as Musa Sissoko since his big money move, not that the transfer fee was by any means his fault. And Davis. Pulled back by Ali for Son. Ali. 2-0! Son has been absolutely outstanding in the opening 35 minutes of the game. No surprise he's heavily involved again, popping up in so many different positions. I just wonder whether there's a slight deflection on this. It's a pass, really, from Deli Alley more than anything else. Does it clip a West Ham player on his way into the back of the net? Clearly, it does. Comes off Declan Rice. Not sure he's going to score otherwise. Get that touch off the defender means that Adrian has absolutely no chance. And 2 0 out to Tottenham is an awfully long way back for West Ham. Scored the winner in the last round against Barnsley. Get something out of it. Tenth minute of the second half. Will this situation offer West Ham a route back into the game? Zanzini's corner. Byron was going for it. Oh, what a solid strike! That is Ayo on the follow-up, and West Ham resuscitate their hopes here. Andre Ayo from close range, gives them the lift they badly needed. Well, it's so important for a centre forward that they're alive when the ball comes back up a goalkeeper, this is why. Since the ball is clear, Tottenham squeeze out, but they don't pick up their men. That's when the shot comes in. Is it Ben Davis actually who's playing everybody on? The ball is clear, they don't get out quick enough. It's Ben Davis who plays everybody on, that's where the goal stands. Tottenham defenders are standing around watching. He was alive to it. It's a simple finish. Make the game much more interesting now. Andre Ayu's goal, lifting that. There's Dyer. And fourth. Llorente to Son. Next down off him now to Fernandez. Here's Lanzini with options either side. Ayu. Lanzini. Cross from Cresswell, away by Aldevir Eld. Lanzini trying to make that his. In by Fernandez. Carroll with the head one. It's Lanzini who's in behind and Ayu's there again! Andre Ayu twice in the space of five minutes! has turned this match around for West Ham, could it even turn their season around? Oh, this is absolutely incredible, it's all about attacking intensity. In the first half, West Ham plenty of the ball, they were just tapping it around with no real intent of trying to score. Suddenly they're competing for the ball in the opposition penalty area, they're winning the battles, they're keeping the ball alive. And certainly onside Lanzini when the ball has flicked his way, it's a really intelligent pullback. Once again, IU is anticipating the ball might come his way. He's not standing and watching. He expects Lanzini to have seen him, and he's on the move. 
It's a slightly scuffed finish, but West Ham don't care. And from 2-0 down, they are right back in this tie. And Andre Ayew is the man who has put them in that position. This is cool. Andre Ayew hoping to claim a hat-trick tonight. Spurs defenders you see the marking man for man half the team is marking space as well but that shouldn't happen so easy for Ogbonna to get there but it's flat the ball in it's pacey all Ogbonna has to do is get his forehead on it just help it on its way don't hit it too strongly just get decent contact on it it's brilliant from, from Lanzini the timing of the run from Ogbonna is superb and this is a quite extraordinary story What an experience.